What is going on everybody? No, this is not a clickbait video. This is not a joking around video. The title is true to its own self-informed. Guys, I have been playing World of Warcraft for a pretty good long time. Throughout the years, on and off, it started way back. I believe I started in Burning Crusade. Went through there, like I said, through all the years, all of the expansions that we have had. I have also been making Warcraft videos the past couple years, and throughout these videos, throughout these expansions, throughout all of these journeys and adventures, guys, I have never made one character from the other faction, this faction, of course. I am talking about the horde. <coughs> sorry, sorry, I can do this. I can do this, guys. My very first time in life, we are going to be making a character of the horde. <coughs> From the other faction, this faction. Guys, I'm super nervous because you have to kind of look at it from my perspective. You know, I have never once visited Orgamar without being shot down or killed by many, many people. I haven't explored the lands. I don't know any of the starting zones. And it's, it's, it really is eye opening. It truly is. But to celebrate 10.1 with cross faction guilds. I went ahead, I'm going to go ahead and decide to go ahead and sacrifice it, sacrifice my love for the Alliance by making another character <laughs> on, an, on the other faction. Like, I can't, I can't say the word yet. Uh, give me time. Give me time, guys. It's a process, okay? You gotta get used to it. There is so much to explore, so much to experience being on the other side of things. I'm, I'm excited for 10.1. You know, all joking aside and everything, I'm glad that Blizzard is doing something a little bit out of the box, something that's new, something that we've seen coming, as I've said in our last video on the subject. And also, I don't know why I have my drumsticks here, but I do. It's probably to go ahead and beat myself over the head after I've made a character. I mean, also to the fact, I mean, he's a floating undead priest. I mean, come on. Back! Back, you heathen, back! I think we actually are going to be starting out as him in the game. I mean, what can I say? I've been dying to play as him. No. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. I need viewers, please. And for the class, guys, I was thinking we're not going to be doing priest, okay? <laughs> Just a heads up. No priest. We're not going to be doing priest. But I had a pretty good premonition that we were going to be trying out rogue. I think it's a good specialization in class for the undead. Uh, you know, especially if you want to do stealthy, stealthy. I think it has a good kind of storyline, you know, just being undead and being this assassin or something that's super creepy. was thinking of doing Death Knight. Death Knight is not completely my style, is the thing. And I think because I've never really done a rogue. I've never leveled up a rogue before. I've played around a little bit with Death Knight rogue. Not really any clue. I want this to be kind of new too as well. You know, I want something to be uh, excited about, to experience something brand new. Not only with the uh, whole, uh, <clears throat> the uh, I can do it. Be strong, Blue Shell. Be strong. Being in the faction of the Horde. I did it. I did it, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I did it. Thank you. Thank you. Stick around, it's Captain Blue Shell. Well, 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell. Also, too, just a heads up, we are going to be starting with the class trial because I don't want this to be a video of us, like, leveling up through hours of gameplay. I just kind of want to explore the capitals, you know, everything which way and around of the Horde that I've never gotten to experience. And who knows, maybe Rogue might come into handy with that, too, as well within our travels. I don't know... Let's go ahead and customize this guy, shall we? Actually, you know what? I'm going to be doing a she-zombie, because why not? Because it's... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I was not expecting that. That is actually quite a surprise. We kind of have, like, almost like an Elvira thing going on. I really love the vibes. I really do. But it's like... Uh, this is really what I love about it, though, too, is, like, the structure of your character... It's like, you could do, like, mottled, you can do bony, <laughs> you could do fresh, it's kind of cool. It's a little different of a take on your skin choices, and I really do like this so far. We're gonna go ahead and stick with bony. I like the, I like the hairstyle, we're gonna keep that, because like I said, the Elvira thing going on. Love Elvira, love the character, 
absolutely my heart is melting right now and let's go ahead and do undead undead what is wrong with you guys what is what is wrong with you we've also got bone jawed uh, for the uh, the jaw features we've got uh, stitched which is kind of cool intact intact is more horrifying than what we just had with bone jawed uh, to be completely honest with you and then we also have toothy and then we also got cheeky and a little bug is being a little cheeky also too by the way i really love the faces uh, that we can pick out these are actually really really good these are like super unique these are the most unique faces i've seen on any like, on any character that's so good i'm gonna go ahead and kind of do like the the stitched up face i don't really know why it's kind of like botox gone wrong or is it botox gone right am i right even the eye colors are super unique you get like the red glowing eyes you get purple too as well you might actually stick with the purple it just kind of looks cool this is like <laughs> this is a very very like psychopathic zombie just coming out of nowhere for you sneaking up behind you with the rogue skills i i i am loving this so far i think that's actually gonna do it i think we're actually good um i really don't like with the stitched uh how she just like keeps smiling but i guess it makes sense i guess it's like I don't know, they stitched her face up to always smile. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on here, okay? I never smile, so I would not know. No. Uh, go ahead for the name. Let us check Elvira, and it has, yep, been taken. How about Eldira? Uh, it's, I don't, I don't know about that. It kind of looks, I'm going to be honest with you, it kind of looks like we spelled Eldiarea. If we misspell Elvira on purpose, Elvira. Oh, Elvira. There we go. I don't... Something about, like, the smile is just... I don't know. Is it wrong? Is it right? Mm. It's just too smiley. Like, it looks like it's actually a frown, and then it's a smiley face, and now... What? Wait, now she has a frown, and she's not smiling at all. What is going on? And now she's got the thing again. She's got the smile. Are you guys seeing this? Is this just me? Look she she clearly has a smile right she's smiling she's okay hunky dory awesome fantastic something is going on with the face because now i've changed it to a frown i've never seen that from any other character before like i've never seen how you get from frown to smiley to I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it's a cheat code. <laughs> I, I mean, we'll go ahead and keep that. That's fine. If she's going to keep frowning, then that's fine too as well. I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead, finish it up. And there we go, guys. We have a rogue. I'm going to get her helmet off and everything too. So that way she's, you know, more undead and we know she's undead. So it should work out. Let's go ahead, get on into it. Our very first mm, horde character guys let's do it come on baby guys we are in a place that i am not supposed to be in i keep getting like i keep freaking out thinking that i'm gonna get beaten up or killed or something on the spot but i'm not you know why it's because we are now undercover as part of the horde which by the way i'm not going well i'm not going to say that i'm not going to but this is a great way to spy out uh, the uh, the horde to see kind of where they hang out at where they go in the game in order to maybe sneak up on them and kill them but for the meantime guys let's go ahead and explore orgrimmar for the very first time this is quite the capital city and also too right off the bat good news guys our our blood serpent matches pretty much perfectly here and with our character as we go ahead and rise up levitate this is actually where i got killed the last time in <laughs> the last video i don't know if you guys saw that but it was uh it was absolutely horrifying i don't know i mean like the capital looks really cool i just don't know whose capital is larger either the alliance or orgrimmar it seems like there is a lot to explore a lot to go through and everything what i want to do real quick first i want to check out their portal room because i've never seen you know like any portals here inside the gates of orgrimmar itself and then we turn a left here and it's down wow i actually i'm 
like, to be honest with you, I'm actually kind of super jelly as to where their portal room is already. I know you guys know this, but just as research, we got Silver Moon, we got Val Draken too as well, the portal right there. That's pretty darn convenient. We got Ouroboros there, Azuna, uh, Zoldazar, Jade Forest, and the Crystal Long Forest too as well. The, the best thing about this is like, it's right there at the main gate. So as soon as you're entering the Orgrimmar, boom, you've got portals anywhere you want to. I mean, Alliance, you know, with Stormwind, it is quite different because then you have to go to the Mage Tower, which I find is kind of annoying sometimes. But this is super, super convenient. And I will take back what I said with the Horde being stupid or maybe it was just a mistake and they got it right i don't know i'm just kidding you guys did a good job brava i'm proud of you i like the size i like the look of orgrimmar itself i mean it's very open you know you can travel to anywhere pretty you know pretty easily and you can see it from a mile off too as well the thing with stormwind is like yeah i mean you do have some open spaces but once you get into town it's like all the buildings are here there there is a random tauren just kind of sitting down these tauren guys these guys are like freaking huge man buddy i think you better move on over <laughs> that joke was was utterly horrible i'm sorry i don't know i mean it's nice it's different it's cool to explore and you know also it's you know made of sticks and muds but it was you know it was erected very well you know very well done so i mean it's still holding up it's still straight up and standing so yeah i also love the fact that it's in layers it's like you know you have like the first floor second floor and you kind of like know where you are because of that stormwind it's very just kind of flat and open with like a lot of area here it's kind of you know condensed because you basically have two floors and I love these things. I love the, uh, the, I'm a freaking balloon. I love the, uh, the floating people that disappear that are like ghosts that are absolutely horrifying. That's what I also love about this. I don't know. I just like the fact that, you know, the airships are just centralized, like right here. Like I said, everything is very consolidated and like in basically one area. Stormwind, it's like, okay, we have to travel all across the map here to there in order to get our boat. Here, it's a lot more, like, there's almost no area, <laughs> like, to travel. I mean, you literally have your portal room here, and then all the way up to Valley of Wisdom. It's really just, like, right there, and I really do appreciate that. Also, too, real quick, since this is our first time, I want to check out Thunder Bluff. And then also, too, we'll be going over here to the uh, the Undercity, which I'm glad that I can actually get into the Undercity now. <laughs> a lot easier, a lot more simple. So I'm going to be checking out those two right now. Thunder Bluff, I think I've actually been to Thunder Bluff to camp out uh, some of the, uh, the Tauren. Um, because I think around there is also their starting zone. Don't quote me on that. But I was doing a lot of, uh, like, tauren hunting over there. It was actually really good at the time. But now we can go in, uh, check and see just real quick. And then we'll be going, heading off to the Undercity. Finally, I've been wanting to check out Undercity for a very, very, very long time. And speak of the devil, oh my god, guys. Here we are, passing straight on over Thunder Bluff. This is something that I don't understand about Thunder Bluff, and I'm not sure. I don't know what the lore, I don't know, you know, what the, the storyline is. Maybe I should keep my mouth shut, but that's not me. Uh, what I'm saying is, like, this is the, the largest and, you know, I mean, like, very, very proud and strong race, right? In World of Warcraft, this is probably the largest race that we have is the Torrent. I would think that the Tauren would be down, you know, in the mountains and the hillsides and everything like that because, like I said, they're a very proud race. It's not like they're, you know, they're staying up above in the clouds because of, you know, predators. They can definitely hold their own. But why are they always up on such high cliffs? It's like they're, like, they're just away from everything else. Like, they have this entire landscape, and it's like, you know what? 
we'll just go ahead and place our civilization up here. Maybe it makes sense. I don't know if maybe the totems have something to do with it. Maybe it's like a, you know, like sacrificial thing or like spiritual thing. I don't, I, I, I don't know. What I do know is that we're going to go down here without being completely killed and murdered. And we're going to have an awesome time while doing it. This is so weird. I just... Everywhere I go, I feel so out of place. Like, I just I just feel like, oh my god, we're going in. It's almost like my heart, you know, starts to, like, go. Because it's like, okay, game mode, war mode on. We're ready to, you know, kill people. And it's like, mm, nope, there's just some dude here with the, <laughs> with the feather chieftain hat. <laughs> this is small. This is actually very, very small. Warcraft pro tip, if you're ever in Thunder Bluff... Uh, spoiler alert, it's it's very small. I mean, I guess it makes sense if it's your, you know, your starting area and everything. I mean, obviously it would. But um, over here, is this the Hunter's, what is it, Hunter's Village? Or the, uh, oh, this is the Elder Rise and then the Hunter Rise over here. And then the Spirit Rise. Maybe I was right. Maybe I was right about that Spirit thing. Maybe that's why they're so high in the sky, but... I don't really know. This is, uh, what, what is under this tent? Nothing. And I'm not going to go into them or discover them or anything. I'm just going to take a look at the other islands, uh, too, as well. The, uh, the rises. We got this rise over here, that rise over there, and we're, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's Thunder Bluff and we're done. We got another balloon. We got another balloon. I'm gonna I'm gonna chase it. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch a balloon. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do oh no. No 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 I thought I, I was oh come on come on we're so close Dude this balloon is antagonizing me and, and it's doing it on purpose Watch as soon as I get close it's like oh oh bye there we go. Cool. I'm on it. Where does it go? I have no idea. Oh my god. Are you serious? We were just... Oh god. That's... That's that's depressing. Okay, on to Undercity. Here we go. Alright, and back to Orgrimmar because I'm, <laughs> I'm a complete idiot. Look, if it was, like, if this was set up and I was, you know, the horde before in the past, I would have had a plan. Okay? <laughs> it would have been like, hey, I'm gonna do, you know, Orgrimmar, Undercity, and then Thunder Bluff. Trust me. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was gonna be the one, but I thought that it was, and it's gone. <laughs> it's, it's such a South Park reference. I'm just kind of confused about the signs, though, too. I don't really know what these mean. I think that means that that one's gonna be Thunder Bluff. Or probably something to do with the Tauren, I'm guessing. I don't know if these ones have any kind of insignias. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. No cheating. I have to figure this out on my own. First day as the horde, and I gotta, I gotta know. I gotta know how to navigate. What the crap is that? Slenderman land. Okay, we don't want to go. We don't want to go there. I don't think it's this one. And is this kind of? This is a spooky little. Hey, portal to Undercity. Yes, we got it, guys. So instead of taking the uh, the balloon. We can just basically just take the portal and zip, we are off. I mean, granted, it takes some getting used to. It took me some getting used to with Stormwind on, you know, how to get to, you know, other continents and everything too as well, because you have to get the boat and do this and do that. I love this area so far already. I like the fact that everything is covered in slime. That's a very, very good sign so far. Also too, we get to fly. Even though everything is covered, it's kind of like you know, under the earth, like underground. It's very much kind of like Iron Forge, which I really do appreciate. So it's kind of like the Hordes. Yeah, it's kind of like the Hordes under Horde. And it's kind of like this big circle. I really like this. And it's almost the same wording too as well. It's like we got the War Quarter, the Mage Quarter, which I'm guessing that would probably have the uh, the portals in it. Yeah, I mean, look how well detailed this is though too. I really love like the chandeliers with like the uh, the skulls and everything. It just it looks like a very very cool complex of a labyrinth capital city. I really like that. <laughs> granted, again, you know I've never been granted access into 
Undercity. Like, I could never, like, get into it. Orgrimmar, I've, you know, I've fought kind of, like, outside, you know, sometimes inside if I could, you know, even get there. Thunder Bluff, you know, it was open outdoors, too, as well, so I did some hunting. Undercity, never been here, but, uh... <laughs> It just, it looks very, very enticing. It looks very undead. And I love it. Basically, you get your straightaways, and then you have kind of like these little cool, like, cubby holds with, like, stairs. And then you've got your, like, uh, little, you know, stairwells and everything that you can go into and to as well. And probably not the best thing on a mount, but we can try to get through it. And then, yeah, I mean, basically, it's the same thing, little cubby holds here and there. Now, before we do in this episode and everything, there are two locations that I want to visit to as well. I know this is going to be a little bit longer, but so far, with the Horde, there's a lot of just, like, cool places. I don't know. I mean, it's cool places to visit. I'm sure the storyline is pretty awesome, and also our character just being undead itself. Mwah, icing on the cake. Whee, through the sewers we go. This is like, this is the coolest entrance and exit ever. <laughs> like, like to any capital city, like I've got to say. I'm not sure if Undercity is actually a capital city, but I mean, you know, obviously it's a main city, so. And I mean, there it is. It's it's the cavern that kind of, you know, takes you in and out. It's, it's so, it's just like, it's so just like out there like you would never expect it it truly is a top secret entrance and exit and then also too of course you know you have the the complete city like the ghost city over here absolutely horrifying but i mean it's just something else it's just so cool lord they run this is so cool just like the i mean this is like it's it truly is a creepy place but I, I absolutely love it. It's just, it's so cool. This is a great, great location for an awesome underground city. One final look at the underbelly of Undercity as we, basically we're kind of like in the, you know, in between the main aisles and kind of the center. I really like the center of it though too. It's just, it's it's kind of like open. It's just very, you know, undeady. Like, I don't know if that's... I don't really know if that's an adjective, but I'm going to make it one, and yeah, it's just, it, it's kind of cool because it's like everything, like one-stop shop, everything is here for you, and then it's just really cool to explore, get around, and all enclosed, kind of like Iron Forge, not as big, but still very well-themed and pretty exciting. So on to our very first quick location, uh, Ashenvale. Basically, I know you don't have to be Horde or anything to visit Ashenvale, obviously, but it's nice that it's, you know, right next door to Orgrimmar, and it has been a while since I've been here. This is, I don't know why, I just, I love the forested area, and it brings back, like, just, super you know like it's been here for a very very long time i visited before um you know like i said you don't have to be forward but it's nice to be back it's nice for it to be that close and that convenient and it just i don't know it just feels really good kind of reminds me of a little bit of darnassus even though in my book i think darnassus was you know more beautiful eh, a little bit i mean the trees and everything just the scenic views I don't know. I mean, it's up for debate, but, you know, I mean, it, it technically looks kind of the same. I don't know. I mean, just the area itself, you know? I mean, it's kind of like you still get, like, the, the 2D trees. I miss those. <laughs> kind of looks like they're, like, cardboard cutouts of trees. Look, Warcraft needs to vamp up Warcraft, okay? I'm ready for Warcraft 2.0. Let's just go ahead and start it, you know? Let's just get it over and done with am i right i don't know something about this place is very nice and yet at the same time super creepy so i don't know i just i like exploring it lord magmathar how are you doing today buddy my you're looking glowing as ever i don't want to get too close but i don't know let's just let's go ahead let's just let him be you know let's get yeah yeah let's get out of here <laughs>
And to go ahead and leave it off, guys, we are just visiting real quick with Winter Spring. This is just kind of like a cool little area. It's very relaxing. I know uh, Nordrasil isn't too far away from here. Uh, you know, up on top of the uh, the giant mountain. It's actually right up there, believe it or not. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of a cool, you know, place, I think, just to kind of end it. So, Horde, our very first look, our very first experience... I gotta say, I actually really like it. I really do enjoy it. I think there's a lot more to it with storylines to be getting into. I'm looking forward to leveling up more Horde characters. And, yeah, I can finally say that I am... I'm finally, finally, finally a Brethren of the Horde. And it feels good. It feels great. It feels awesome to be part of the, uh, the Undead. You know, kind of uh, like we did... Uh, you know, kind of explore the Undercity, and uh, hopefully it'll take off. Hopefully we'll be uh, doing some good hoarding and still staying in with our, you know, guilds and everything too as well. I'm not sure if the guilds are going to expand number-wise, but uh, yeah, so to help celebrate first horde character ladies and gentlemen it's been fun it's been real it's been real fun hope you guys uh enjoy the the patch of 10.1 hope you guys are ready to work side by side with the other factions if not too bad <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding i'm just kidding but hopefully if you guys want to see more videos and definitely follow like subscribe i will see you guys on the next beautiful horde adventure it's captain blue shell i'm out